Okay, so we're gonna find the gain on a three quarter inch piece of pipe. So the very first thing I need to do is bend a stub 90. This goes for any kind of bender, doesn't matter what size it is. But this, this particular instance, I'm gonna do the gain on a three quarter inch pipe. So first I'm gonna mark four inches here cause I wanna have a 10 inch 90. And then I'm gonna mark further back on the pipe and I'm gonna mark it at 30 cause I want to have a uh, 20 inch tail, but we're going to end up slightly longer than that. So here I am marking the pipe at 30, just to give me a reference point. So I'm going to put this arrow on my uh, mark there, and I'm going to bend this and get a 10 inch 90. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we got here. Okay, so where are we at? We're right there. We're right at 10 inches. So let's see how long of a tail do we have. So if I take this and I go to the, ba the back of my 90, I should have 20 inches. But as you can see, we really have 20 three and three eighths. So if you if you look here, we have 23 and three eighths. So let's take a look and see what we've done. Okay, so we have a 10 inch 90. And from our back of our 90, we should have had 20 inches. But instead we had 23 and three eighths. So this difference here, this is what we call gain. And that's a difference of three and three eighths inches. So the very what what we can do now is we can find the back of ninety on any bender. Normally it's the star mark if you look at it, but sometimes it's not marked out. So next we're gonna use math to figure out what the, our back of ninety is. Okay, so we've done the math. So first we need to know that our stub is six inches. We've, we already determined that by bending a 90. We know that our gain is three and three eighths. So we take our stub minus our gain and that gives us two and five eighths. So from our mark that we used to get our stub, which is the arrow, we go back two and five eighths and that will be our back of 90. So let's take a look down here at the bender and see what exactly we're talking about. So if I take my tape measure and I go from the arrow and I go to my star mark, you can see there that I got two and five eighths inches and that's to my arrow, that from my arrow to my star mark. So that's what I'm talking about, finding back of 90. And then some people might be asking, what do you mean back of 90? So if you don't know this already, the star mark here, if I face the bender the opposite direction and I want to bend uh, another 90, I'll know that that'll be the other, that'll be my back of my second 90. So let's do the math real quick. So since I've already got this marked here, I'm going to make another mark and I'm going to bend a second 90. So let's take our tape measure here and make an arbitrary mark. Let's say we want to bend another 90 and we want to put it at, uh, once again, we want to bend it at 20 inches. So we want to make this guy here our back of 90, which will be 20 inches. So we take our bender And this time we put it on, on the star. Since we've just determined that the star is in fact our back of 90, we can take this and put it on our bender, put that mark on our star mark, and then we can line it up with the uh, back of our second 90 and we can create a back to back 90.
look at that we're right at 20 inches so we know that this is our back of 90. if you look at this right here you can see that i've just bent it with the star mark i've determined that by using the stub and the gain and once again the math works out this can be used for any bender and i've determined that my back of 90 is in fact on the star mark there and i bent it to 20 it comes out to 20.